Hey guys, Kalen Angloss here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about energy systems and what energy systems you're using when you train or when you work out in the gym. Maybe you don't even know what energy systems you're working, but what I want to talk about is the three different energy systems that produce energy in your body and how they're utilized. So I'm going to tell you the system, I'm going to tell you the fuel that you're using while you're doing that system, and then also the rate, so how long that system lasts for, okay? So when we talk about energy systems, we have three main energy systems from the fastest to the slowest energy system. So I'm going to start at the top. The fastest energy system you have is what we call the ATP PC system and the PC stands for phosphocreatine so that's how you're creating your ATP I won't talk too much about the physiology behind it but that's the fastest system you have the fuel you have for that like I said is phosphocreatine that's the fastest uh, source of fuel in your body it's in your muscles as well as throughout your body that produces fuel and this system is being used in any kind of workout or exercise that lasts usually we say less than six seconds okay for really trained people sometimes it can be more closer to 10 seconds less trained people it's even less maybe two or three seconds but the average is about six seconds so that's the fastest system that you have for those really explosive movements when you're punching or pushing or or exploding in a box jump or things like that you're you're using the ATP PC system. The second fastest system you have is called glycolysis or anaerobic glycolysis. I'll just put glycolysis here. Okay, uh, that's the second fastest energy system that you have and the fuel you use for that is carbohydrates. So I'm just going to put CHO, carbohydrates, sometimes fats too, but carbohydrates break down in the process of glycolysis to give you energy. And this system lasts, we say, from about 6 to 10 seconds all the way up to about 2 minutes. So when you're doing exercise that lasts uh, less than two minutes, you're using mostly the glycolysis system as well to produce your energy. And then finally, the last energy system we have is simply the aerobic system. Okay, so that's where we use oxygen to produce the energy, opposed to the first two where we don't use oxygen to produce energy. They can, that's why they're faster. That's why it happens faster, because you don't need oxygen. The last one, you do need oxygen. The fuel for that is fats mostly. We do use carbohydrates as well, but in the aerobic system, we mostly use fats. It takes longer to break down, but it lasts longer. This one lasts for about two minutes plus, and again, that can go on for really as long as you can last you're using the aerobic system, okay? So that's your three energy systems. There's different names to each of them, and it gets a little bit confusing, but those are the names that I like to use. They're easy to follow. It's also important to understand that you're never just in one energy system. You're always using some form of all of them in any of the exercise that you're doing. But when you can relate this to your training or to your, your workout in the gym, you want to ask yourself what energy system is most important for your sport performance or for your workout? What are you really trying to improve? Are you trying to improve your explosiveness, the fast twitch muscle fibers, the things that happen very quickly? Or are you trying to improve your endurance and that cardiovascular system to be able to maintain that? So you think about that, think about what energy system you should be using, are you using the right energy system, and are you using it within the the right rate okay so that's all you need to know really right now about energy systems think about which one you're using are you using the correct one and are you having enough fuel to to get you through that training and through that workout okay if you have any questions about energy systems or anything exercise physiology related my email is here at the bottom kaylinangloss at gmail.com i'll answer any of your questions guys i love the feedback i get from you guys questions are great again let's make this a discussion i'm kaylin angloss thanks for tuning into this video about energy systems and we'll talk to you later.